Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Now for people who are new to this channel, for these fake shoe reviews, basically what we do is search various websites such as DHgate and etc. to try and find replicas of pretty expensive shoes, you know, a thousand dollars plus. So trying to get as close to the real deal as we can without spending a lot of money, because we are all on a budget here. So without further ado, let's get started. I guess we all remember these ones, don't we? The Balniesiag 1S shoes. One commenter said that, I'll put your name here for saying that, because I'm going to call these the Balniasiag 1S, because that's a great name for these shoes, because that's exactly what they are. Now, these are the ones I got off iOffer. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it up in a card up here somewhere. But these are the $30 ones that had a picture which showed the real ones, and then that listing just disappeared. We're going to have these as reference for this video. Now, this parcel turned up today. It's pretty heavy, so I'm going to slide it across and see if I can make it in frame. Yeah, it's close enough. These shoes should presumably be the ones I ordered off Wish. Now I'll get into more about that a little later on, but let's have a look around the packaging first. We have a very standard garbage bag, run of the mill, nothing unusual. It's not that high quality. It just, it's the usual. Why am I ranting about a garbage bag? Anyway, so let's see what the declaration says. The weight is half a kilogram. Nah, each of these shoes is like half a kilogram. It's heavy. This time I'm using a high quality knife since the other one doesn't cut through butter. So let's just try this. There we go, that's better. Meanwhile, I could be just cutting straight through the shoes, but that's okay, no worries. Okay, these are slightly a little big. Here we go. Let's have a look at them. What we seem to have here are a somewhat close representation of the Balenciaga Triple S shoes. But I think they're still wrong. Unfortunately, these are another miss. I'm looking online and straight away, I mean, the sole's very different from the previous fakes, but these are just one sole, one whole massive mold of a sole. There's no separation in between them or anything like that. Thus, this is still a Balenciaga 1S, not a Balnea Siag 1S as the other one's called, but still these are quite heavy, so they may be of reasonable quality, we will see. There's no tags or anything like that on them, so we'll have to explore them. But let me tell you why I purchased these off Wish. Because I had money in my PayPal account and I thought, I got money in there, I may as well use it. If anything happens, I know I can go through PayPal. So I bought them off Wish because you can't use PayPal on DHgate. I paid a hundred and twenty dollars Australian for these, so about a hundred US. And the picture I'll show here shows the exact same picture that was shown on iOffer that I bought and ended up with the Balnias Yag ones. Why am I not surprised that every time I try and get a pair of Balenciaga shoes, it doesn't work out. It never works out. Let's go around the shoe and have a proper look. Starting with the Balenciaga text there, you can see that it is stitched pretty terrible it's sort of off here there everywhere and sort of stitching just yeah look it says balenciaga and it's spelled correctly i'll give it that and it's not a print it's actually a stitched in font now the other thing is triple s are meant to be dirty these are not dirty as i said in the previous video the profile of them is close but as i said the sole is just one massive mold there's not multiple layers of it showing that in detail there you can see it's all part of that one sole there. It says Balenciaga on the back there. That actually does look pretty nice, I will say that, but it's sort of off a little bit there. Looks a little crooked. Even like detailing here, these details are meant to go up more and this is supposed to be squared off more and all that sort of stuff. We do have 45 stitched on the toe box because they should be size 11s. Having a look around at the front here, we can see it's, yeah. Does that look like a truck's coming towards you, ready to run you over? Honestly, it just doesn't look right. But these shoes are dad shoes after all, and dad shoes are shoes of the 90s. And I'd surely know about the 90s, since my dad left me at a Bunnings warehouse when I was three and never came back for me. What a complete tool. Anyways, stitching is off in some areas as well, as you can see around there and 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 there. Are these worth $120? That's what I'm saying. I don't think so. Having a look at the other side here, you can see a lot of glue marks there. The sole connecting to the upper, with the stitching, there's some mesh detailing just there. There's plenty of cushioning. So that's good. And the sole is 
massive as you've obviously seen, but it ain't no triple S though. And at the bottom of the shoe, it says Balenciaga in there. It looks somewhat correct, to be honest. Looking online, it's it's a little off. There's a bit of paint coming off this part here. It's just like, nah, see you later. I'm ditching the shoe. I'm hoping that it should be very grippy, but I don't think I'll be wearing these ones because they're not exactly like the real deal. Oh man, 120 bucks down the drain. That's fun. On the tongue here, we see that it says triple S and that is just a bit of plastic stitched on there. Pull tabs around for everybody. So you got a pull tab there, you got a pull tab there. Everyone's got a pull tab. Now, is there any markings inside of the shoe? No, it doesn't look like it. So let's pull out the insole. Can I pull out the insole? I got it. It's literally a piece of yoga mat foam with Balenciaga printed on it. I'm loving this already. The inside is pretty much as usual. Stitching's all just the same cross stitching as I call it. Once again, let me know if that's called cross stitching. I have no idea if it is or not. The same white layer there. Pushing down on it, I do feel some cushioning. There should be some cushioning inside of the sole, you'd think so. That's cheapness right there, people. And the laces are just very standard laces. I think they're supposed to have S's on them, but they don't. They just have little squiggly patterns. Sort of a profile shot from the top. You can see how it's supposed to look. As I said, it's a Yeezy 700 with a wide body kit. That's all I keep on thinking when I see these things. Let's grab the other ones. Hey, look, they came pretty close, didn't they? I don't know which one's better now. The paint's more vibrant on these ones. Oh, God. Yeah, it's close, man. It's close. The Balenciaga 1S or the Balenciaga 1S. You decide. And you can also see the size differences between the really fake ones and the pretty fake ones. There is a massive size difference. So it'll be a bit of an experience seeing how these feel compared to these ones. The insole on the fakes was much better than these ones. From $30 to $120 delivered. That's 30 US. And that's 120 Australian, so 100, 100 US for these. So $30 US and $100 US. The sole is all just one thing, as I've said a million times. Stitching's off in certain areas. It doesn't look anywhere near the real deal with these being lowered and all that sort of stuff. It all adds up. I thought with spending a little bit more than what I usually spend, I'd be getting something of decent quality. And it's practically the same as the $30 ones, except it just has Balenciaga on it and... The sole's a bit thicker. That's really it. I think I've covered pretty much every detail on here, even though it was very quick. There's not really much else to say about these. I'll do an on-foot segment and see how they look. Just a tad bit disappointed, if you could put it that way. Just a little bit. Okay, I've got them on. Holy crap. I feel like I'm about eight feet taller. And these things are like tanks. They're huge. They're massive. They are comfortable though, but they're just not like the real deal, unfortunately. Well, that's the on-foot segment for these done. They are comfortable, they are very grippy, but unfortunately, they're not quite replicas of the Balenciaga Triple S shoes. Even though they might have some similarities, they're definitely way off. It adds like this much to your height. So if you're, say, like I am, six foot two, I'd be about six foot, what, four in these? <laughs> I like chunky skate shoes. Heaps of cushioning, massive soles, all that sort of stuff. So these are the sort of shoes I'm into, but these kind of aren't really what I was expecting. But then again, I should get my hands on an actual one-to-one -one pair, and then we can finally see what they're like instead of just basing it off these rando ones that I keep on copying. But at least it's a step up from the uh, Balenciag 1Ss. We have the Balenciaga 1Ss. Hey, Balenciaga, you want to make a bit of money, just put the soles just together and then sell these for $900 instead of $2,000, just saying. I'm not going to rant on much about this. You've heard me rant on and on about these shoes. Please, someone just send me a real pair of these so I can be done with it because it's just like I'm not meant to have Balenciaga triple S shoes. Every time I try and buy them, I end up getting duds. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if I hear anything else or if I seem to get another pair from somewhere, I will let you know. How did they miss the paint on here? Oh, I'm done with these. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video, which should be shoes. Trust me, it will be. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.